What's up guys, how you guys doing today? I just made a vlog and I'm sorry it's going up late and it's because my phone just messed up and it went back. It kind of, well, this is what happened. It crashed and it went to another app and then it cut my video off and I can't restart it. So what I was saying is how to know if a person, a woman, a man, or a boy or a girl for my younger viewers to know if they're rather bullying you or they like you so when I was in ninth grade let's start a backstory on that I no actually I don't think it was ninth grade it was tenth grade I was sitting at my desk I was doing my work I was trying to catch up on some more because like I said I always used to miss school and this boy he kept messing with me every once in a while he he uh, poked me in the, the neck with a pencil he kicked my desk with his foot and like pushed it back toward me he punched me a lot but not as hard he just punched me hard enough but yeah he punched me his his friend came up and they t double teamed. A lot of that happened. I've got called names by him, but after a while, I haven't. At first, I thought that was like him, just his way of just being a jerk, bullying me and stuff like that. But after a while, I noticed something. Every time he would pick on me, he turned his head and smile afterwards. It's not really a smile that everybody would would uh, notice if he looked at me. I thought it was like just to show that, you know, I did this to you, you're not gonna do shit, which I really wouldn't because I don't wanna engage in somebody who can actually defeat me. But after a while I realized he kept doing it over and over and uh, I've told him a lot of times about some things, and like I said, I was a big liar back then, so he said, I'm just going to laugh at everything that comes out your mouth, and he did do that until he figured out what I was saying was true, but he kept doing a lot of things. He smacked me sometimes. I know that he had a problem because we were all in ED, and... I realized that since that pattern kept going on, I was starting to think he liked me. I never got the chance to actually ask him if he does. He probably does, or probably did, but I couldn't really tell. So, a few few days go by, he kept doing it. And then after a while, he stopped. He stopped picking on me as much as he used to. He just made some bad comments. If I said something, he would back say it or say something different and I wouldn't like it but then I know that he didn't he wouldn't said something that was as bad so with that being said I tried to write something down I tried giving him notes or but I've never gotten a chance to do it because I wasn't confident enough to do it so for you guys that are noticing that and you guys want to and you guys are still in school still in college still at work before you leave or get fired for some reason or if you are in school in class or wherever you are I advise you to talk to the person I mean it's not as bad if you just go up to them and say hey what's up try to start a normal conversation with them not a conversation that will get you teased or talked about or spread all over social media and like i said in my vlog before i cut off that if the person responds positively it's good if they respond negatively just shrug it off and don't i won't say not talk to the person anymore just like try to not engage with them anymore like you could talk say hi say bye uh they ask a question answer the question if you know 
uh, just don't communicate as much just as um, acquaintance just say hi and bye basically you don't have to really get into making a full conversation with the person and don't talk to their friends that much either because that's gonna make it seem a little fishy seem a little cocky so try to try to be try to be normal if you do like the person that's messing with you or you do like the girl the boy or girl that's messing with you try to be confident because you never know when you're gonna see that person again you never know if something can happen so you wanna you wanna be you wanna be the person that's gonna go up to them <clears throat> when they feel comfortable now not a lot of times people feel comfortable with you just walking up to them and saying something know what to say that's my tip know what to say when you're gonna go up to them plan it write it think about it write a little poem about it do do something before you go up there know what to say don't 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 do like I do every every time in the vlog. I stutter. I repeat myself. I say the same words over and over. That's a bad habit that we all sometimes need to break if we're nervous. Because every time I start my vlogs, I'm always nervous because I don't. I have to know what topic to like talk about. I gotta know like what to say in the topic, how to keep it going for the right amount of minutes. I don't want to make it too long vlog, I don't want to make a too short vlog, I don't want to, I don't want to make a bad vlog, like <clears throat> the other one that you've seen where I was outside, and I was going to church to <clears throat> go get my mom and stuff, don't, don't do all that, because that's gonna make, if you're as stubborn as that, which I gotta break out of, but if you're as stubborn as that, that person's never gonna want to just be there, they're gonna think you're boring, which is probably why I have low views. Most of the views that I have on my page right now, I am the one who looked at my page. Some of that 23, I've looked at other people, viewed it, but never liked it. Some people, I mean, I never got a thumbs down because I don't have enough people to actually watch it and give it a thumbs down. But I need to learn how to improve on things. But yeah, that's those are some tips that you can use. Also, if if you don't feel as comfortable, like going up to them or you know trying to engage in a conversation, if you feel too scared about a negative response, then you could write a note or text. Like you could write a note and put it in their locker. You could put it in their cubby, you could put it in their lunchbox or on their desk even, or in their desk or whatever. You could put it somewhere where you know that they're gonna find it. And don't tell, tell you could tell who it's from. You can say, oh, John or Kevin, uh, it's from me, blah, blah, blah. Would you do this? Can we talk? Can we do that? Whatever. Or you could make it anonymous. Don't make it where they know where your hand, like how your handwriting is. Make it where it's not really your handwriting. It's not how you normally talk. But if you're confident enough, write your name, right? Write who it's from. Ask, put your number down if you're that confident. Just if you're scared to go face to face, or if you have the number of Facebook, and if they block you on Facebook or something, try to. Try to start a conversation and see what's up. If you're a, a low self-esteem person, um, sometimes, sometimes people have low self-esteem. They don't wanna, they don't wanna go, go straight out and and ask the person or get on their Facebook and talk to them. It's it's understandable, and I used to be like that myself, but. Like I said, you never know when you're never gonna see that person again, so you might wanna you might wanna try to talk to the person. Not a lot of times you can because they'll give you a negative response, even if it's alone. And if that happens then you know they're probably just too shy to even admit that they like you or they're too shy to to 
like engage with you in that way. You don't have to just go right out and say, I like you, or, oh, do you want to go out with me? Can I take you out on a date? My mom's not home. My dad's not home. You can come over. You can hang out. But you don't have to go through all that. All you have to do is, if you want, you can ask them, like, what do you think of me? Uh, don't don't just go, go there and say, hey, let's go out. Uh, let's get to know each other. You could say that, but just try to put more detail into it. Because a lot of times when you do that, they will give you a negative response. Now, a positive response will probably be... You know, why are you asking me this? I mean, that sounds like a negative response, but it really, it really, it really isn't. I mean, like, why are you asking me this? They're trying to understand if you're on the same page that they are. Maybe if you are, you could write something down or text them, ask them for, if you do have a number, that's what I mean, like text them or check out their name if you know their full name it's not really stalking them kind of is but it's not you can get on their facebook and ask them so they can feel more comfortable you can get on instagram or something ask them on social media so that way you're not doing it face to face you're not sending them letters you're not doing that you're just doing it from a distance more more like you're not they they can see that you're not really comfortable in what you're doing but sometimes people could mistaken mistaken bullies that like probably like you or the person that just dogs you or cracks on you or whatever you guys usually say. But you if they respond more negatively, like, you know, get the fuck away from me with that or I don't even like your ugly ass, your dirty ass, your booty ass, your hot dog, whatever. But if they start saying that kind of stuff and they start like if they say it one time or throw your note or delete your message or block you and they just ignore you the whole time then yeah they you might be mistaken that they might actually not like you but sometimes they might and sometimes they might not I mean if they don't then you know apologize Say, I thought, I'm sorry, just some things can cross my mind. Or if you're a comedian, you can make a joke as in, ha ha, yeah, I was just seeing what you would say, or something like that. I mean, like, not always you're going to get the positive response. And sometimes if they do say something really negative, it, it, can't, it can be real. And sometimes it won't. It doesn't have to be. It could be, it could be monetary. Like, I mean, the best, the first step that you should do to that is try writing a note. Just, and sometimes if you are in high school, like I'm talking to my uh, younger viewers, if you are in high school and you do have that problem, and if you do send them a message through, you know, writing them a note. And if it still comes out negative, then, like, if they, if you put the note in there and say they are around their friends and they go to their, their locker or cubby or, and their friends are around, they look at the note and say you didn't put your name on it and, then they turn around and say, who the fuck put this in here? You know how teenagers talk. You guys say, you know, like, who put this in here? What the fuck? Or something like that. Um, you know, if that happens, try not to say anything. Try to talk to that person. Not about the note or anything. Just try to engage with that person for a while. And then, you know, put... If you guys start talking, you start making a good conversation, not too, not too out of topic, or it's just something that you guys want to gauge, like a, a a football game, or try to talk to, about something that he likes or she likes, and then try to, and then go up to her and say, you know, I'm the one who put that there. I was just curious of what 
what you, what you think because I've noticed this. I've noticed that. And again, if they they respond negatively, they probably are too shy to admit that you know, yeah, yeah, I do feel this way, but don't tell nobody. Or sometimes they might think you're joking, and you might, if they say, yes, I like you that way, or yes, this happened and that happened, you might, you know, go and tell people and, like, say, oh, this guy likes me, this per or this girl said this, she likes me, and, you know, maybe that might happen, and probably would, but not all the time, you know. But, yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of how you would tell the difference. A lot of times, it's, if it's physical, hands-on, and they're not really too scared to touch you or something like that, they kind of like you, and they kind of probably don't. It just it all depends on how you feel doing that with the other person and how you feel trying to talk to the person or you got to also consider how you feel because you don't want to really go up to a person and be scared or have a nervous breakdown and you know say something stupid and embarrass yourself you don't want to do all that you want to just be calm like I said just write some things down put them on notes plan what you're gonna say it can it will it will work at least if you know that the person doesn't like you, you'll know. And if they respond positively, then you'll know. But don't, if if they do respond positively, don't go around and bragging it to everybody unless they're your close friends and you told your close friends that you like this person. Don't go around telling people that you know are going to if say something, repeat something that you said. Or don't go around saying something similar to that because then they're going to think you like that person. They're going to blab it out to everybody. Then you're going to be embarrassed. You're going to you're gonna get mad because that person said, oh, Jonathan likes Mia or something like that. You, you just don't want to embarrass yourself in front of everybody. You, you want to keep it low-key for a while. And then if that person feels comfortable, they'll tell their friends about you and if it's a judgmental person my my advice to somebody who is judgmental and probably like and you don't think too confident about yourself i'd probably advise you not to try to communicate with that person in a dating relationship kind of way because that person's probably just going to be saying all kinds of rude comments to you and then their friends are going to make fun of them for going out with a person like you and really that shouldn't bother you but it kind of will get the person that likes you and you like in a bad position so try not to do all that because yeah you don't want to embarrass that person or yourself you can also tell the person you know I don't feel comfortable with you know you telling other people about 